Hi YouTube people, as you can see I'm all dressed in my sweat dress. Sweat dress, okay, sweater dress, whatever it is. Sweater dress, whatever. So today we're gonna do something special. We're gonna have non-perishable food, so basically no prep. So every, every single meal is basically gonna be something you take out of the fridge or, or that was sitting around on the counter. You don't have to do any cooking. Uh, so what have you been having for the past day or two so for I've breakfast? Been having this delicious organic cocoa crisp cereal, which is what, very what, good. What, it, approximately half a box every morning, you know? Could you blame it? It tastes so good, though. So these actually caught my eye at the supermarket because, you know, the ingredients aren't that bad. It's just organic rice flour, organic cane sugar, organic cocoa powder, natural flavor, you know, and even though it has some soy lecithin, the fat content isn't too high. So overall, these are actually pretty good, and I would say they might be even better than the apple cinnamon oatmeal she was having two days ago. Yeah, and, and I also got... Yeah, show me, Gina. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Try not to spill it, drop. we got this delicious organic milk. Yeah, we got some organic rice and milk. Normally, I would order some... It tastes some... just like regular milk, to tell the difference. Yeah, just a little, maybe a little grassy, a little like a barnyard. Actually, I like the taste. I could actually drink it straight from the carton, but I'm not yeah, going so to. You already drank a quarter gallon over two days. So, normally I will get the raw grass and milk from the local farm. I just forgot this week. I grab a bowl of this delicious... Box of cereal, Jim. Box of cereal. And I get... Why don't we have a small bowl in here? Just use that bowl, Gina. Get a... <laughs> Try not to break. I'm going to just take a little... Uh, I'm trying to lock the mirror right up. There's really not that much left in here. <laughs> so I might as well use the whole. So there's about a thousand calories per box of cereal here. I'm guessing she's been eating about 350 calories worth of cereal per day. And then maybe, you know, 150 from the milk. Gina, you know, that's plenty of milk. And I just pour that right in there. So that's all she'll really have for breakfast. You know, these cocoa rice scripts are, you know, carbohydrate energy source and the milk is where the nutrition is coming from. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of B vitamins, you have a lot of protein, amino acids, <laughs> fat soluble vitamins, calcium, lots of minerals. Mm. What do they taste like, the regular cocoa rice krispies, Gina? Mm -hmm. It kind of tastes like the, sna uh, the rice krispie uh, snacks, which is also good if you have, you can also make rice krispie snacks with the cereal too if you want to. And I'm sure this tastes even better because you have the high quality ingredients, mm. the, the grass fed milk. Brings out all the flavors a bit more. Mm. Unfortunately, Gina can't sit here like a normal person because. This is actually, this is so really good. Look how beautiful this is. Yeah, so if you guys are having like some picky kids or a hard time getting, you know, someone to eat nutrient dense animal foods, you know, get some organic cereal that doesn't have any chemicals sprayed on it and throw some raw milk in there. So we'll see you for lunch, right, Gina? Mm-hmm. So, Gina, we're going to have lunch, but before we have lunch, you want to know what the, the surprise was, right? Why is it Mr. Handsome? Well, don't call me Mr. Handsome, Gina, but I, I got you your favorite scotch tape and a tape dispenser. Yay! Look at tape shape. That is a lot of tape! So for those of you that don't know, my sister likes taping everything. Listen, what is this? Gina, I just gave you your present. Stop looking at all the other boxes. Thank you, friend. I love tape. So what do you like taping, Gina? My magazines and stuff. Yeah, so she, Gina has a mild case of OCD, which her parents refuse to address. She obsesses over certain things such as tape, so <sighs> we've given into the obsession for now. So Gina, for lunch, lately we've been having, you know, roast beef, but that, that's been getting a little stale. So if you guys do have like a quality organic a uh, cold cut that you can give. Actually, let me see if we have some left. So we have some organic roast beef that she's going to have for lunch. Usually I make like organic chicken myself that I have to grill, but you know, I didn't have time to prep today. You could also do like uh, some smoked salmon that I have up here. And one of my favorite combinations, and I think my mother likes this as well, is, is roast beef with butter. So we're gonna you know, spread these with a little bit of butter, roll them up, and that's what she's gonna have for lunch. I'm gonna make more so just give me a giant stick of butter. Well, that's something I actually recommend to some people is if they have appetite issues, they can use butter too. You know, after a couple of tablespoons of butter, you're not really hungry. So depending on how much of a savage you are, you can, you know, just take a spoonful of butter and a bite of roast beef, or you can, 
you make it more presentable and approachable. So, you know, this is definitely a meal that anyone would like. So you just spread a little butter on the roast beef and then roll it up, and that's that. So I'll do this with all the slices. And you guys saw our oven roast recipe a couple weeks ago. It's made from top round. So if you want to make this yourself, you get some top round. We have the veal top round on Frankie's free range meat. You get some of our Finlandia butter. You make this yourself. You don't have to spend $9 for a pack of four ounces of organic roast beef at Whole Foods. So Gina hurriedly grabbed a bite before I could put the camera on her. How do you like the combination of roast beef with butter? We haven't had it with mm -hmm. butter before. We've just had the roast beef on its own. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot better with the butter, right, Gina? Mm-hmm. So when you put the butter on the roast beef, you get closer to the natural macronutrient ratio that humans are supposed to have, which is about 80% fat, 20% protein. When you just have the roast beef, you end up like over consuming protein and not really satiating your appetite for fat. And this is definitely up there with one of my favorite, you know, least ingredient meals. And it's very natural, you know, literally some butter with some roast beef, super delicious. Doesn't get much better than this. Uh, maybe some prosciutto would be the only thing I like more. Gina's been getting plenty of standing exercise while eating today. Gina, do you normally stand and eat, or do you? Normally sit down and eat. Okay. Well, why just, she's just too excited to eat. Well, you're cooking, it's always delicious. Well, Gina's gonna sit down and have her lunch, and we'll see her back for our non-perishable low prep dinner. Hi, you people, I got delicious Ugh. cheese. So Gina, you're supposed pepper. to film your dinner, and I came down and you had the cheese halfway into your mouth already, right? A tiny bit. Tiny. So this is the San Daniel prosciutto. Uh, it's Parmigiano Reggiano cheese and roasted red peppers. Very Italian charcuterie plate. Mm. And you know it's not crazy expensive. You know depending on where you get the prosciutto from. Uh, that's like organic yeah, roasted red peppers from the jar. Ah. And the Parmigiano Reggiano is only like 15, 17 a pound. So per, per calorie, it's pretty affordable. Like trying to nah. I was thinking about getting my own uh, deli slicer just to do it myself because. I think my mother and my sister can eat, you know, two pigs worth of prosciutto every week. I could eat 50 pounds of this. So Gina, what's your favorite out of the, the peppers, the cheese, and the prosciutto? I like all of it. She eats everything. So from a, a nutrient perspective, the cheese is high in pretty much every single vitamin besides preformed omega fatty acids. The prosciutto is just a lot of B vitamins, some fat type of vitamins. You know, the omega-6 ratio in the prosciutto might not be that great, so you want to have you know, some fish here and there, and the red peppers, you know, if they're organic, there's a little olive oil. The Parmigiano can be a little a little dry, so you should probably get some, some water or something to drink. Mm -hmm. Again, this is something that's, you know, nice, it's tasty, no preparation. All you do is, you know, buy everything, then put it together on a plate. You know, you can, by all means, get higher quality versions or similar quality versions now from the local farm. this is a juicy farm. pepper. So you can get like local raw cheese, you can make mm. your own prosciutto, some charcuterie from a local farm, and, and even do your own roasted peppers. But this is a bit more realistic. Look how beautiful this pepper looks. It's so pretty. Well, red is my favorite color. So overall, you know, the diet is still really high in animal products and, and then heavy in B vitamins, which is, you know, good for body yeah. composition, good for overall health. Mm. So she's gonna probably swallow that down in about 20 seconds and then uh, we'll see you guys for a snack. So it's around eight o'clock and Gina has been having a snack every day lately. We used to do it, you know, only a snack a few times a week, but uh, now she's been complaining and wanting every day. We'll see if she uh, gains weight at all and if, if she's eating too much. But uh, today we're gonna do some yogurt. Uh, Gina, why don't you show them sure. uh, the yogurt. Uh, this is raw that. cow's yogurt, grass fed from a local yogurt. farm. Uh, since she kind of eats like as much of anything regardless of how it tastes we don't add anything extra to it like we don't add honey we don't add vanilla because she eats it regardless uh last few days you know she'll have some organic fruit maybe some beef jerky maybe even some organic cookies it, it just depends on what we have you know sometimes we've done the, the local raw ice cream which is what, really good <laughs> what else do we do for a snack yeah. uh banana yeah, organic banana, different types of fruit. So she has yeah, maybe like three quarters of a cup of, of mm. yogurt in there. And you know the high fat yogurt from the local farm is very calorically dense. 
And to compare it to cream, it does still have a decent amount of protein and a decent amount of water soluble vitamins. Okay, and more importantly, it has you know a lot of good probiotic bacteria. Uh, yogurt or kefir from a local farm is actually one of the best foods you can have from a uh, probiotic profile. You know, so if you try some yogurt and you're really craving it and liking it, uh, that could indicate that you just need you know, more probiotic foods in your diet. So it's a nice balance of carbs, fats, and proteins. Mm. Try it like it kind of tastes like a banana. Gee, there's no way that yogurt tastes taste like a banana. Interesting. It's a good taste. It tastes really good. It tastes really fresh and creamy. Tastes like a banana, Gina? I think so. You think the yogurt tastes like a banana? I think so. I don't know. I think my taste buds are off. I think so too. My taste buds sometimes act very weird. So, Gina, you've eaten every meal standing up today? Mm-hmm. Is that because you're nervous around the camera or you're just little Miss Piggy and you need to eat everything so quickly? No, I figure I don't, I'm just too I'm just too lazy to sit down and eat. Okay. What farm did you get this from? It's really good. It's from a local Amish farm in Pennsylvania. Mmm. They sure know how to make really good yogurt. We did do a video on how to make yogurt, how to make kefir. You guys can check those videos from some months back if you're interested. But uh, that's going to be it for Gina's Day of Eating. Uh, as you guys have seen, a lot of really high quality animal foods. Some snacks and treats thrown in here and there. Gina, what are you doing? <laughs> There's something Gina, hard clump in Gina, there. It's a, probably just the, the yoga quite Okay. We're, yeah. we're going to wrap this up for you guys before she does something uh, something else a little weird. Yeah, it was like a hard but, uh, clump. I don't like know. it a hard clump in yoga. That's <laughs> not you guys my know, opinion. You guys know how to support uh, me down in the description below. And I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Mm. I honestly don't know if I've ever given her anything that she doesn't like at this point. I'm trying to, to like go through my brain, but maybe we can just switch her back to the, the regular carnivore diet if she does gain weight eating all this stuff.